Got Storm Surge coming in. Delayed Electrocute, basically. And then Shadow Flame to critically strike. I think they are getting absolutely blasted here. Let me see. It's disgusting. It, it's it's over. <laughs> it is over. Oh my god. How's it going? Welcome back to another PBE Season 14 gameplay. Um, in this one, we'll be testing out a bunch of the new AP items uh, on Diana. I'm very, very, very excited about this one. A bunch of changes. Notably, Shadow Flame got reworked a bit. Um, no more HP on Shadow Flame. The damage got in. Dang, it got crazy. Basically, your abilities can critically, critically strike on low HP targets. There's also this new item called Storm Surge, um, which is basically just a nice, big, more pop of damage. We're going to be zapping people. Should be fun. Instead of just talking about it, I could probably just show it. Here we can go, Shadow Flame. As you see, 120 AP, 12 magic penetration, Minions and magic and true damage critically strikes enemies below 35% health, dealing 20% increased damage. I mean, hello? And then we got Storm Surge. And then here we look at uh, dealing 35% of a champion's maximum health within 2.5 seconds applies Squall to them and grants 25% movement speed for 2 seconds. Squall. After 2 seconds, strike the target, dealing 136 magic damage. If the target dies before the strike, it detonates immediately, damaging enemy champions around them and grants 30 bonus gold. So, big damage and you basically get... The AP version collector of uh, the AP version of collector, a bit of bonus gold on kill. Playing against a new champion here. This is my first time facing him in lane. I mean, let's get this party started. Right, let's, let's see how it goes. I'm so excited for this new season. Um, as you know, I'll be filming. I already dropped another uh, PVE gameplay video of like Tang Diana, Bruce Diana. If you're liking the content, want to see more? Drop a like, comment, subscribe. You know that fun stuff. Let me guys. Let me know what you guys think. I should be trying out for build because I'll, I'll test it all. I'll test it all. I'll, I'll be happy to do so. Anyway, as far as Bruins, we're going Electrocute. You know, I, we're going Electrocute. Pair that with Storm Surge. I think we'll be zapping people for an insane amount of damage. And then, uh, you know, we went for Gathering Storm, absolute focus. Guarantee the high AP values and just uh, absolutely nuke the enemy team. The new champion, I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, a lot of crazy... Oops, my E didn't reset. But I can just get Electrocute going here. I think he dies to that. I mean, he just face tanked my whole... Uh, he doesn't die. And I miss Cannon. Man, I'm oh, so low. He's just going to TP back. I'm just going to push this out. If I had my E reset, he was for sure dead, but I was a bit too late on my... A bit too late on it, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna push this in. He's gonna TP back. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm very, very, very excited for this, uh... For this new... These new builds. I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Storm Surge first. Because, uh, why not? No new items. We're gonna test that out. No more mythics, right? So you can kind of build anything in whatever which order you want. Um, the only thing is you're gonna, be, you're gonna be a lot squishier than your typical Assassin Diana build that we currently have. Because typically when you build, you know, Rocket Belt, Shadow Flame, the old version, they all have HP components to them. Storm Surge, Storm Surge, and Shadow Flame, no HP. So you're full AP, full Glass Cannon. High damage, you know, high risk. High reward, I would say. You know what I mean? Land your combo. If you land your abilities, you land your combos. You're going to be doing an insane amount of damage. However, your survivability is going to be next to none. They also reworked uh, Zanya's a bit. We can maybe test that out. Uh, they got some work going on with... Um, no, like no more Mythics. So we could we could build you know, Rocket Belt. Oh man, he's one HP. And good the Q flash bug. I don't know if I, I if I've uh, I can do it on PVE. And she flashes, I'll flush. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I get both. I get both. Ah, it's over. It's over. I'm so excited to see what this storm surge is gonna look like. This is literally my first game with it, so it's gonna. We'll see. We will see. Obviously, this new map changes as well. There's a bunch of things going on. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of things going on. We've got some new void creatures in the Baron Pit. Oh, this is gonna feel feel nice here. It's gonna feel very nice. Did they change alternator? 50 ability power. Champion Dill does another 68 magic damage. Okay, so I think you just get more AP, but again, no HP. Um, high burst, low survivability. That's, I think that's gonna be the name of the game. But uh, this might just bring Assassin Diana back to back to full potential, and I'm so here for it. It's also not fair that we're kind of just bullying this new champion. I think. Now, I'm not sure he knows exactly what he's doing. I might... I don't know what he does. I mean, I have an idea. I read his abilities, but... Essentially, you basically have... N or 9 abilities. Every... Every... Every which one... You can, com you can combo... Your basic abilities together. And it gives you 9 variations. Plus your ultimate. Plus 10 abilities. But... I think the gist of it is... Any Q combination is going to be some damage-oriented uh, spell. Your, any W combination is going to be some C, uh, some utility-oriented spell, like a shield, movement speed, mana, whatever. And then your E is like CC with a bit of damage. They could not. I'm not going to dive here. Nice. Yeah, free killed. You know, funnel that gold into us. I like it. Top is going to be fed, so it's not a complete stop. We'll see. Typically, it's hard on PBE to get them somewhat even gameplay because, you know, I'm out here playing my main champion. And then you know, we got this mid laner playing at first timing a new champion. So it's just, it can tend to be a bit lopsided. But uh, I can assure you I can, I'm testing out enough games on PBE to get a wide variety of, uh, you know, of sample size. I can fight this. I'm hoping the all ins. She tries to all in. I don't have, ma I don't have mana. Oh my god. Ah. You see? My bad. That's fine. That's fine. We got gold. They got gold. It doesn't matter. Okay, so new item completed. 100 AP, 12 magic pen, 5% movement speed. Those are all just beautiful stats in Diana. It's, it's, it's going to feel so good. So dealing 35% of a, max, a champion's maximum health within 2.5 seconds. Applies. It basically does this big uh, active, or this big whatever you want to call it. Strike the target dealing 228 magic damage. If the target dies before the strike, it detonates immediately. All right. So pair that with electrocute. I don't know. It just feels like you're, you're dealing damage. Do we try it out here? Was it? Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Okay. Cheeky flash. How much damage is that? So you saw there, we damaged him. And then after a brief delay, another big lightning strike came down. So we had Electrocute hitting him. A few seconds later, we got Storm Surge hitting him. Now imagine when we have Shadow Flame and our abilities are going to critically strike the low HP target. I mean... I don't know. That's feeling pretty... Uh, it's feeling pretty spicy if you ask me. So, he, so, I mean... Like, what are you doing staying low HP, buddy? That's just... You gotta... You gotta recall. So this is... Oh, okay. This is nice. So Evelyn got some of the new Void creatures. She got two of them. So as you can see, my attacks... Well, all our, all our whole team's attack... Now burns targets for a uh, you know for a small amount depending on how many stacks you got. You can get up to six stacks maximum because there's three creatures that spawn, and then once you kill all three, three new ones will, will respawn up to a maximum of six during a total game. Um, and if you get all six, when you attack structures, you also get some little void creatures helping you attack structures, almost like Belveth passive. But in this case, we're sitting at uh, we're sitting at two, so that's uh. 
I mean, that's not bad. Essentially, you'll see, you know, your attacks apply true damage dot effect to structures increased by each stack of Touch of the Void. So there you go. At six stacks, you also summon Void Mites when you when you attack structures. 15 second cooldown. A bunch of new changes. And then after after these creatures despawn, you get the Rift Herald. And after Rift Herald, you get to uh, play for... I just flash on them. Yeah, our damage is is not okay. Our damage is not okay. I think you saw there. Um, I didn't actually need the Storm Surge damage just to kill them, I don't think. But because they died before the Storm Surge actually came down and hit them, um, it just it, it immediately came down. So I'm thinking, you you take that into a team fight with Diana. You get a four or five man ult, Diana. You get that Storm Surge coming down. It critically strikes with Shadow Flame. Disgusting. Disgusting. So I'm excited. Um, um, I can't. I can't wait. Okay, we, we limit test here. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna aggro while uh, their junglers here. I'm just gonna try to walk out. And as and now we fight. Oh my! She died to storm surge. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. He ult away. But the delayed storm surge still comes down. One shots her ass. Oh my god. Now nah, this is my season. This is gonna be my season. You'll catch me in Challenger. No more masters, no more GMs. You catch me in Challenger. It's gonna be insane. Obviously, a lot of other people can be able to abuse this, but I don't know. It's it's potential is there. The potential is there. No, screw the tank Diana build. Screw all those new tank Shut items. Down. I'm just going to abuse these AP Assassin items. So now we have Shadow Flame. Magic, magic and true damage can critically strike enemies below 35%. 35%. Does that mean this can critically strike as well? Not just my abilities? Like magic damage, right? They would not listen. I think we're one shot people without our ult. Let me see. Let me see. Let me just see what we can go do bot lane here. Got Storm Surge coming in, delayed electrocute basically, and then Shadow Flame to critically strike. I think they are getting absolutely blasted here. Let me see. It's disgusting. It, it's it's over. <laughs> it is over. Oh my god. That was not okay. That that was that was not okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll take a free kill. You know what I mean? I don't mind if I do. I get I get a nice little turret here. My troubles. Who else can I kill? I just wanna I just wanna kill. I just wanna fight somebody. Now I'm thinking. Now I gotta figure out what item to go. I'll, I'll read the new items in base. I'll read the new items in base. Maybe I just build all the new items. For the sake of this video. Fuck it. Even if it's not optimal or ideal. I might get some gold here. I wonder if like. One HP. I'm gonna drop the ignite. Oh, never mind. My eyes are open. That was like just Q EQ auto, maybe with the W. Like that was insane. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to help him. Oh, he doesn't need my help. Now oh, that damage was ridiculous. Well, my bad. <laughs> okay. Um, we go Rabadons. You know, it's now 140 AP. We might as well. Let's go for the big damage. What other new items are there? Let me look. Let me look. I have time to look here. Uh, Mage. What else we got? Got the new Zanyas. I mean, there's Lich Bane with a bit more AP. That's going to be insane for up for burst potential. 
I like the movement speed on Lich Bane. Movement speed on Storm Surge. Give me roaming, roaming around here. What does this do here? It gives mana. Is this kind of like the new Loon's Echo? It's kind of it's kind of mech. It's kind of pointless. But you get a takedown on enemy champion within three seconds of, of damaging them. Create a healing Nova on their location that heals allies. I mean, might as well, right? Might as well. I'm down. Let's let's test out this new item here. It's kind of like a a new ish void staff. Not not void staff, but, but it just it offers magic penetration as well. Percent magic pen, so it'll be good against tanks. Um, but we'll see. I guess we can just dive in, enemy team, get a kill, get some healing afterwards. I mean, might as well. They don't really have a tank on their team. They're not stacking Yamar, so this flat, this percent magic pen is gonna be a bit wasted. But uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, Vayne's popping off here. Can I find someone on enemy team to just absolutely blast? Give me a second here. Give me a second. Drop a word here. Um. Anybody? Are they FK? I just want to fight. I'll be nice, I promise. Fighting Riven will be a good uh, good example because she's she's fed. Okay, I mean that's on me. I was greedy. I didn't use my ult. I used Ignite super late. I thought I thought my one shot potential was a bit you no know, higher up there. That's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't respect the 10 and 1 ribbon, the 9 and 1 ribbon. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take two. Take two. <laughs> yeah, but now we got this now we got this item. So just a bunch of bunch of new things happening. And I think I wanna go Ravnons afterwards. I just want a big AoE team fight ult with Storm Surge. That's what I'm envisioning envisioning. Like, imagine you're jumping on the Backline enemy ADC support mid lane or something like that in a team fight. You blow, you get one, blow them up instantly. So this, so then you get no delay on 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 the squall here, and then it detonates immediately, damaging enemy champions around them. So you get even more AOE on top of your already strong ult. Could be insane. Okay, I just wanna. I might just be flashing on these. I might just be flashing on. Oh. Oh, she just... Okay, she got bursted. Oh, what? So what's this? Am I getting healed? Oh, God. I'm trying to go back in to try to see what the hell this is doing. Whenever you take down an enemy champion, three seconds of damage in them. Create a healing Nova on their location that heals allies for 50 plus 50% 50 of AP. Okay. I don't know about you guys. I didn't see no healing. Maybe I'm just blind. We're going to try that again. Maybe without having Ribbon there. And then we're gonna go, um. We're gonna go Rabadon. Get that big burst. I mean, maybe like something like Lichbane. Something like Lichbane. Um, what does this do? See, this is all the mana, all the new mana items for, for like mages and everything like that. Not, not the, not ideal for Diana. Like, building mana on Diana is not. It's a bit of a waste, to be honest. Um, damaging a champion with your ultimate burns the ground beneath them, dealing 82 magic damage and reducing their magic resistance by 10. Okay, that's that's kind of kind of spicy. You know, obviously we got the new Rift Maker coming in. Um, you know, more Omni Vamp, damage over time. Not damage over time, but dam more damage longer during combat. New Zanyas, 120 AP on Zanyas, kind of insane. No cooldown reduction though. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. And she's gonna die a Storm Surge. <laughs> Bye bye. So it'd be nice if targets ever like flash out of you or something like that, or you know, just uh, ribbons coming over the wall here. I dash to I, I tried to dash to a minion, minion there to avoid her jumping over the wall, but she messed her jump. Well, oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I have E and five to maybe chase. Thank you. Now let me let me go go back in the fight here. Oh, they they've won it. They've won it. Okay, not bad. Not bad. 
I didn't oh, I didn't pay attention to the crib bloom when I killed Senna. Oh, we're gonna have to get another kill. I set out again. Oh. Damage against Squish Champions is going to be unreal. Like absolutely unreal. Oh, IP Diane is so back. I have enough for two large rods here. Might as well go buy them. Might as well go buy them. Nice. I'm, I'm not even building my. I'm not even completing my full boots. I just want the damage. I just want the damage. How much AP are we sitting at? We're already at 524 AP. That's kind of disgusting. You now 14, 4, and 1. Not too bad. And some of our deaths are honestly just us being a goof. Should be able to clean that up very very soon. We got this new Baron map change here. Essentially, um, there's three different versions of the Baron that can spawn. This one being one of them. Um, they each all change the map around Baron in their own, you know, their own way. So let's just uh, play this one. He's got some hands. Looking, we got a visual update. Looking spiffy, looking mighty fine, Baron. I do say to so myself. See, not having Proto Belt feels kind of bad because I can't, like, I can't dash into him. N you're kidding me. My E didn't go off before my, uh, my ult went off before my E. Man, I, I swear I did not try to just ult the empty space there. I meant to jump over to Hue and Senna. I think I lost vision, so my so my E didn't didn't go off. Like I as I pressed E, I lost vision, so I actually didn't press E on anything. And I'm just sitting there pressing E in the uh, pressing E pressing Alt in the wide open. That could have been disgusting. Oh well. Oh, we just got a red buff because uh, now when Baron when Baron is now on the map, uh, red buff and blue buff they become you see this like void version of the of themselves. And whenever someone on your team claims it. Your whole team, whoever's alive, gets the buff. Kind of broken, if you ask me. But uh, I'm not complaining. I'll take a free red buff. It'll be nice for the blue buffs. It'll be very nice for the blue buffs. Oh, oh, oh maybe. Okay. Let, let me try to go 1v1 ribbon here. Let me see. What, what are these items? Some energized attack that slows. This is like, this is like a Ravnus Hydra-ish almost item. Excuse me, where did she go? Where? Where did she go? And she was 12 and 2. Oh my god. Nah, these new items are insane. Okay, I gotta pay attention to this new healing orb. I haven't I have I've not been paying attention. Okay, well. That did nothing. And let a storm surge killer off. <laughs> nah, this this is gonna be too much fun. I feel like if if I have my crit bloom up, I'd get the healing after killing MF, and then I could survive killing Senna. So if this cooldown was active, was up, could have been spicy. That could have been spicy. I don't know what else to build now. We could just we could just go proto belt to, to ensure we can get in ranged hard targets all the time, or we could just go more damage. We, no, let, let me look. Let me look. Let me look here. Um, cosmic drive is kind of nice. Oh, never mind. Well, they surrendered. That's a GG. Not a bad first game with these new AP items. A lot of things to be excited about. Um, yeah, I'll be posting more content. If you liked it, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know what to do. Anyways, um, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.